Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue. How's it going? Uh, I'm not on the tripod today uh, because I couldn't do this justice on the tripod. This is my original old, vintage old, 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 <laughs> it's not old, 1990, 1989, uh, zero hour collection. Uh, it was up in the loft and I come across the box. Uh, I have two younger brothers, so this was passed down between the three of us. And unfortunately, I left it in pristine condition. But my two brothers, uh, I nicknamed the middle one Destructo Kid because he likes to... Uh, I, he plays with his toys, if you will. He really plays hard. So, well, he did when he was younger. Uh, so, yeah, I just thought I'd show you uh, what I've got. Um, I have quite a lot of it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just go through it. Yeah, we're just over here first. This one, unfortunately, has uh, seen the devastation of war. I have the wheels for that one, so I'll probably glue them on. Uh, but it's missing the canopy. Uh, that's its trailer. Some figures there. Tanks. It was such a cool um, range. It, it, was, it didn't last long. I think a couple of years. Uh, it was made by Bluebird uh, Toys. So I think they were responsible for uh, Manta Force as well. So it's kind of like a futuristic army, navy, air force type thing, but not like space, like it was with the Manta Force. That's the way I'm going to describe it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. So there's some tanks. Then we come on to kind of the aeroplanes. Uh... So yeah, that's cool. That was the first one I ever got, that one. I remember getting that. Unfortunately, the fin on there snapped off. Still pretty cool. Over here, we have the Navy Type-esque with the boats. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that crane is also broken, but I've just kind of balanced it on there. Uh, then these were the bad guys. I don't know what they were called, but they had some pretty cool... Uh, vehicles, a couple of school buses, uh, which had machine guns come out the windows, if you can see that down there. And that's pretty cool. Uh, an aeroplane which had a massive, it's got a massive missile on the bottom of it. There you go. So, yeah, I'll drop that down on all the... A hearst, an ambulance, uh, a, a truck rocket launcher, a couple of motorbikes, and a little sort of biplane thing. And they were pretty cool. I like the purple bad guys the best. So, that's those. And then I, there's quite a few kind of uh, factions of the, the, the military. There's the kind of the yellow ninjas, the red ninjas. There's green guys, there's brown guys, there's dark brown guys. The kind of, the air force is more blue. I think these are all air force troops. They're all blue, uh, blue over there. And the divers were kind of gray, black, and yeah, gray and black. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty. This is an awesome thing, though. This is my favourite. I, I remember getting this as a kid. It just blew me away. Uh, these planes come off, um, and then if you open it up, also the two missiles, which I still have. I found one of them recently in another box. That's what made me think of it, actually. And you open this up, and it's got two runway, run, runways, runways. Yeah, <laughs> the futuristic runway. Uh, and this lifts up, and it's got missiles in it. And then that flips over. It's like a wee control panel and a, like a base, basically, so your planes can kind of land on here and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really, really liked it as a kid. But, I mean, if you guys had any of this, uh, drop a comment in the comments box. Um, I don't know. I, I can't be the only one who had this. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it's called something else as well. Uh, Zero Hour maybe in this country, but I'm sure in America it was called Ground Zero or something like that. Uh, different name for it anyway, so yeah, um, but there you go folks just a quick look at my collection of zero hour or ground zero I think it might have been called uh, Yeah, just thought I'd share <laughs> All right, folks folks. God, I can't even talk today. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers